What happens when you mix the ferocity of a wolverine, the curiosity of a raccoon, and the vocal range of an opera singer? You get this. No, you get the Tasmanian Devil. The small misunderstood marsupial that's more than just a cartoon character. In fact, it's an ecological powerhouse and a symbol of survival against all odds. So if you're ready for a whirlwind tour of nature's little ribble, hit that subscribe button and let's jump right in. Scientific classification and description. Now let's talk science. The Tasmanian devil, known in academic circles as Sarcophilus harissi, belongs to the marsupial family. You might know marsupials from their most famous representative, the kangaroo, but trust me, Tasmanian devils are in a league of their own. They have a small yet robust frame, are covered in coarse black fur, and have a kind of bite force that would make a hyena jealous. Oh, and their vocalizations. Imagine a mix of growls, snarls, and screeches that could be the background score for a horror movie. Yep, these devils are not messing around. Geographic distribution. All right, let's move on to their turf. Picture an island that's like a mini Australia, but with fewer spiders and more, well, devils. Tasmania is their exclusive homeland. Why exclusive? Once upon a time, their ancestors roamed mainland Australia, living the good life. But due to mysterious reasons, possibly involving climate changes and human activity, they're now confined to Tasmania. They're the ultimate islanders, adapting to everything from the coastal woodlands to dense, moisture-laden forests. If Tasmania is a theme park, Tasmanian devils are the main attraction, present in every nook and cranny. Diet and hunting. Now let's talk food, because who doesn't love food? Tasmanian devils are the ultimate survivalists when it comes to cuisine. They're like the Anthony Bourdains of the animal kingdom, willing to try just about anything. From munching on carrion they find lying around, to hunting small mammals, birds, and even reptiles, their diet is as varied as a buffet spread. They're the cleanup crew of the animal world, ensuring that not even a single bone is wasted. Picture this. A Tasmanian devil finds a deceased wallaby. Most animals would nibble on the flesh and move on, right? Not our devil. It eats everything. Flesh, bones, fur, and even the teeth. It's like nature's version of a trash compactor, but way cooler. So you might be wondering, how do these tiny titans manage to consume bones? Ah, here comes the mind-blowing part. These creatures have a jaw that would make a crocodile proud. Their bite force is one of the strongest among all mammals their size. It's like packing the power of a hydraulic press into a jaw that's the size of your hand. They can easily crunch through bones and shells, making them extremely efficient eaters. So if you're in Tasmania and hear crunching noises at night, remember, it's just a Tasmanian devil having a midnight snack. To sum it up, the Tasmanian devil is one of nature's most remarkable oddities. From their bewitching cries to their incredible dietary habits, they remind us that sometimes the most extraordinary things come in small packages. They might not spin around like a tornado or have a vendetta against rabbits, but they sure have an aura that captivates anyone who learns about them. And remember, while they might be called devils, in reality, they're the unsung heroes of Tasmania's ecosystem. Mating and reproduction. Ah, love is in the air, or should I say growls and snarls? When it comes to the matters of the heart, Tasmanian devils have a dating scene that's more like a resting match than a candlelit dinner. Mating season is not for the faint-hearted. The females put the males through a sort of trial by combat to pick the strongest suitor. And once a match is made, a pair will stay together for about a week, ensuring that they've given their future offspring the best chance for survival. But hold on, the drama doesn't end there. A female devil gives birth to up to 50 young at a time, but get this, she only has four teats. So the baby devils have to scramble and fight to secure one of those four coveted spots to nurse and grow. It's a brutal survival of the fittest scenario from day one. Unique characteristics. Battle for survival. The intense competition among newborns for a spot in the mother's pouch is also mind-boggling. A female can give birth to up to 50 babies, but she only has four teats. This kicks off a frantic race for survival, and only the fittest secure a spot. Communal feasting. Tasmanian devils are not exactly social butterflies, but when there's a large carcass to devour, you'll find a group of them feasting together. This gathering is anything but a peaceful dinner. It's loud, aggressive, and chaotic, which often surprises people who chance upon this spectacle. Powerful jaws. Their jaw strength relative to body size is among the most powerful of any mammal. They can crush bones, making them one of nature's best recyclers. 
This is crucial for their role as scavengers in their ecosystem. Lastly, let's not forget the spine-chilling, hair-raising sounds of the Tasmanian Devil, arguably one of its most notorious features. If you've ever heard it, you know it's a cacophony of growls, snarls and high-pitched screeches that could make the soundtrack for a horror movie. But why did they make such bizarre noises? The vocalizations serve multiple functions in the life of a Tasmanian Devil. Communication. These sounds play an essential role in the animal's social life. Devils are generally solitary creatures, but they do come together for communal feeding and mating. The vocalizations help establish the pecking order and social hierarchies during these interactions. A low-ranking devil will often yield to a more dominant individual based on these vocal cues. Defense Mechanism When threatened, Tasmanian devils use these sounds as a defense mechanism. The startling vocalizations can ward off predators or competitors, giving the devil a better chance at holding onto its meal or escaping a dangerous situation. Attracting mates. During the mating season, females may use vocalizations to signal their readiness for mating. Likewise, males can use sounds to challenge other males for the right to mate with a female, turning the whole affair into a sort of vocal duel. Finding food. Tasmanian devils are also scavengers, and the noises can help coordinate group feeding sessions, ensuring that multiple devils can benefit from a single large food source like a carcass. Territorial announcements. Finally, these sounds serve to announce a devil's presence and lay claim to a territory, helping to avoid unnecessary conflict. So, while their vocalizations might sound weird or even unsettling to us, they're a crucial part of the Tasmanian devil's complex social and survival strategies. Each sound serves a purpose, from staking up territory and establishing dominance to locating food and mates. It's like the devil's own unique language, a symphony of survival in the wild landscapes of Tasmania. IUCN status. The sad reality, however, is that Tasmanian devils are listed as endangered on the IUCN red list because of the contagious facial tumor disease that has devastated populations. The contagious cancer. Tasmanian devils are one of the very few animals known to suffer from a transmissible cancer. This condition, known as Devil Facial Tumor Disease DFTD, is passed on through biting and has devastated populations. What's crazy is that the tumor cells themselves are the infectious agents, making the disease almost like a parasite that moves from one host to another. But don't lose hope. Conservation programs are actively working to protect these fascinating creatures and there's ongoing research to understand the disease and find a cure. One famous initiative is the Devil Ark program in mainland Australia, which aims to establish a healthy, disease-free population of devils that can later be reintroduced to Tasmania. Remember, every creature plays a vital role in the ecosystem, and losing one can have ripple effects that are unimaginable. In conclusion, the Tasmanian devil is not just an icon of Tasmania, but a marvel of the animal kingdom. From their unparalleled eating habits and fierce dating scene to their extraordinary adaptability, these creatures are anything but ordinary. Their role as scavengers helps to maintain the ecological balance, making them an invaluable part of their habitat. And let's not forget, their unique biology is offering insights that could be groundbreaking for medical research. As we bid farewell to these amazing creatures for now, let's remember that understanding and protecting them is not just about conservation. It's about preserving the intricate and awe-inspiring tapestry of life on Earth. And there you have it, folks. If you've been fascinated by the journey into the life of the Tasmanian Devil as much as I have, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos, which we post every week.